Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about Kodoma Limiter. Kodoma is a malignant tumor arising from notochord adrenal. Most common signs and symptoms, location dependent, fever, diplopia, headache, face of pain, sacral weakness, Sacramas, Alter Sacro, Putial Sensation, Bowel, Level Sexual Dysfunction, Spinal Cord Compression, Radicalopathy, 50%, Cervical Spine, Codomas, May Present with Alpha Absorption, Dysphagia. Symptoms tend to be long standing, 4 to 24 months. Clinical profile, middle age, men present cheek with pain, neurologic dysfunction. Demographic, a peak incident, fifth to six decades, rare in children, six men and female, predominant in males, in adult, female predominant in children. Ethnicity rare in black population. Epidemiology, two to four percent of primary malignant bone neoplasm. Most common primary non lung for proliferation. Malignancy of spine. Incident rate of point zero eight per one hundred thousand. Rare among patients less than 40 years old. Imaging. Clear more than sacrococcyl in children. Sacrococcyl more than spinal occipital more than mobile spine in other. Also, the suction with this proportional Proportionally, large sarcomas, circumscribe scallop or sclerotic bone matching. Amorphous intratumoral classification. Hyperintent to this on T2WI and T2WI with multiple subtypes. May extend into this space in row two or more adjacent vertebrae. No more or decrease uptake on bone scan. C2 or my in an adolescent patient with neck pain and myelopathy reveal a very hyperintense mass. Center at C. 2C3, producing extrinsic cord compression. This mild heterogeneous increased marrow sigma in the C2 and C3 vertebra. T2 FS MR, so a large posterior may just mass with involvement of four adjacent thoracic vertebra body. The mass is hyper and 10 with fine separation. Note the pathologic compression fracture. On the top vertebra with vertebral epidural tumor. Bone CT in a patient reveal a relatively narrow, narrow zone of transition between tumor and rostral fibers. No tumor matrix is demonstrated. T2MI in a patient confirmed that the large hyperintense mass destroyed the distal sacrum and extend into pelvis. STMI of the Lumbar spine reveal a destructive T2 hyper 
intense must originating in the ast two vertebra with epidural extension into the central spinal canal. Treatment surgical resection with at one radiotherapy and block resection yield best outcome. Recurrent common local 90%, regional lung node 5%, distant metastasis 5%, lung bone, 5 years survival 50 to 68%, 10 years survival 28 to 40%. Thank you.